السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویئرس ٹوڈے آئی ایم ود برادر پیٹرک اینڈ ہی از اور نیبر اور ہیئر ان رم فورٹ اینڈ ناؤ آئی وڈ لائک ٹو ٹو آسک ہم شیئر ہز ویوز اینڈ ہز پاس ایکسپیرینس ہز کوالیفیکیشن ہز پروفیشن فیملی سسٹم اینڈ مینی مینی ادر تھنگ اباؤٹ Uh, America and the uh, system uh, of America. So uh, uh, thank you uh, for giving me time and for my uh, people of Pakistan. So I would like uh, to know about your name and your family background, your educational background, and what do you do over here? Okay. Uh, my name is Patrick Mooney. I was born here. Uh, I'm 34 years old. Um, I went to high school here. Uh, I went to the university and received my Bachelor of Arts degree in History and a minor in Philosophy, and I currently teach at the high school here. So you are a teacher? Yes. Uh, you teach uh, uh, in this school, in this uh, town? I do, yes. I teach social studies, um, and that encompasses uh, economics, government, civics, philosophy. And what were your majors uh, when you did your bachelor's? So my major was History. Um, And then my minor was philosophy. Mm -hmm. And now you uh, teach what subjects? I teach uh, United States history um, from colonization to World War II. Mm -hmm. so as uh, you know, these days America is considered superpower of the world. You know, so I would like uh, you to share with my people four or five. skills or four or five qualities are good things, you know, strengths of this uh, country, mm, the people of this country, which made this country superpower. Okay. Um, I think number one is the structure of government that we have in place that the founding fathers instituted where um, we have what's called the checks and balances system where uh, one area is checking the other to make sure that nobody gains too much power um, in the political forum. Like uh, it, it happened in Russia, for example, and many other countries where the right. power is in the head of one man. So That's he right. can play how, how he likes. That's right. Uh, we have a president, but um, he doesn't do whatever he wants. We have the Congress and we have the Senate who make the laws. Mm -hmm. The president just says yes or no to them. And then... Um, they can also overrule him. So it prevents one person from centralizing all, the, all of the control. So this the is the very important thing that your uh, country's government structure, uh, it is very, very uh, amazing. So uh, if, if one comes and other goes, it does not make a major difference. Correct. You know? Right. Um, so. Some people uh, will like the president, some won't, but... It really doesn't matter who it is because of that system. That so this is the first thing. What else? Second, third, fourth. Uh, so I think that system of government created a form of economics for us, uh, capitalism, which by definition is the voluntary exchange of goods and services. And it allowed people um, to form businesses, to work for themselves, to work for an employer, to gain, um, to amass money and, and land and ultimately wealth. Um, I think that that government we have in place allows people to do that. Yes, uh, that is also important. But do you think capitalism, because the, the base of capitalism is to maximize the wealth, you know? So if we make it open for everyone to maximize wealth and without taking care of uh, if he, what he is doing is right, wrong for the society, for the country, for the people, So, do you think it, it, it makes some kind of greedness and uh, these things? Are you talking about capitalism? Absolutely. Um, there are people who will take advantage of that. Luckily, uh, our country has passed some laws to keep them in check, but there are people who are incredibly wealthy while, while others are, are in poverty. Mm -hmm. um, I think the benefit of capitalism is that anybody can have an opportunity to reach that. Yeah. It's not just for certain people. Um, Anyone who's willing to, to work hard um, can achieve that as okay. well. Okay, it, 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 the first thing was uh, the government structure. Yes. Uh, uh, having a smoothness. 
you know, uh, throughout the history of U.S. And second thing you to that uh, is economic system of the country and freedom in economic activities. So and th these are two things. And uh, what other, for example, if ask you to mention two, three things more? Um, I think that uh, religious tolerance is also a big one. That was um, one of the founding principles of the country. Um, the fact that you can have people from all walks of life with different opinions and different religions working together um, in harmony is something that's uh, really made this country strong. Um, you can have very different people who support each other regardless of their different views. This is very interesting for me. I have visited uh, many countries and uh, believe me, this is uh, very good for me uh, to know that in this country you are free to have any religion you are free to, uh, to 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 give your message to the people to uh, give awareness of your religion to the people so later it's uh, upon them if they accept your views or not but you can do whatever you want correct yeah as long as, as long as you uh, do not you know break the laws correct. and you do not uh, spread uh, violation in this thing. That's so right. this is very important and this is a very good thing I like in this country. Yeah, it's um, that's probably one of the things I love most about this country is that um, you and I can have this conversation now and we could add um, somebody who, who practices Buddhism or we could add another religion and we could all have a peaceful conversation. We would all be friends and um, you know, there's no disharmony or discord with that. Um, that's one of the things that I, I think is very unique about about America. Okay, that is good. So uh, I would like you to add something which uh, might be helpful for my people, for the people who uh, will see us, who will know about your views. Uh, I would like you to add such kind of thing for the uh, youngest, youngers, and you know, uh, for the students, for working people. I would like you to add such kind of things which you think that they made this country super power one? Um, I think um, individualism where each person is really responsible for their own destiny. Um, the harder you work, the more profit, profitable you will become. Um, just contributing to society, being a good husband, a good father, um, a good uncle, and being a positive person and um, to work hard. And I think that idea has spread to a lot of people and we have a lot of people who are all trying to achieve that and I think that that's um, that's really something when you have that many individuals working together uh, that, that's very hard to it's very hard to, to topple something like that because they're so unified and so strong so this is uh, also a very uh, interesting thing for me that I see people everyone is working mm -hmm. you know uh, and everyone starts uh, working um, from the age of, for example, 15 to 20 years, and they keep on it, you know, uh, right. up till 70 years old. So this is very good thing that everyone is making his contribution to make this place, to make this country a better place to live. So this is very important. Yeah, um, a lot of people work. I think uh, I don't know exactly what the unemployment is, but it's very, very low. Um, that's why we have so much industry, why we have kind of amassed the wealth that we have. Um, people are working to achieve that. Um, people who are wealthy can provide jobs to other people, and it turns into a system that, that feeds itself. So uh, I would like to, uh, to uh, put a light on the education system of USA and the research system of USA because you uh, are a teacher. Uh, so as your country, now it's my country too, uh, it's, you know, on the front uh, of every field, for example, in technology, in, mm -hmm. in, in, in economy, and in everything. So, do you think your education system is so strong and it is, uh, it is what the, uh, it is what, uh, which is compelling your uh, country and which is, you know, taking your country to the next level? I do. Uh, I think that uh, people want to be educated. I think they have a natural desire to yeah. know things. And, and 
Um, I think our educational system provides them different avenues to do that. If you want to be a scientist, if you want to be a math teacher, a history teacher, there are so many opportunities um, that people can find where they belong and really excel and do very well. And I think that um, the idea we've talked about, that the harder you work, um, the more recognition, the more um, wealth, and the more comfortable you will be, really fuels that technology and discovery of, you know, I want to be the first one to discover this or, or to solve this problem. And um, it's really good incentive for people to, to work hard.